After dropping their first two games by large margins, Owls coach Tom Kerr was happy to be on the winning side. We had, I mean, great game plan. We had a great week of practice, so that was part of why we came out clicking on us. And you can see when we have all our guys what we're capable of. So, I mean, we're a complete team. Austin Fries once again provided the bulk of MMK's offense, scoring six touchdowns on runs of 83 yards, 65 yards, 47 yards, 43 yards, and 35 yards, as well as taking a Zach Thompson pass 85 yards to the end zone. We're going to continue trying to get him the ball open in space. I mean, especially with eight-man football, the way how big the field can be, get him as many touches as we can and keep him healthy. So, I mean, he, he's a dynamic playmaker. He'll, he'll do everything for us. On the second play from scrimmage, Thompson turned a broken play into points, scrambling for 89 yards and the Owls' first to TD. I could probably count about three or four broken plays that he just made something happen. And that, that's kudos to him. I mean, when stuff breaks down and he can react like that on his feet and make those decisions, I mean, that's, that's just showing where he's come instead of just trying to get out of bounds. I mean, he could see that happening, know there's a breakdown, and then make a play for us. And that's, that's his leadership coming to surface. The game allowed Merriam Knight to work on many aspects, including hurry up offense and clock management. I felt good that we got to work on it, finally, in, in a game situation. I mean, we do every, every Wednesday, we have our two minute drill. And uh, so we actually got to kind of get into it a little bit today, even though we scored right away. So it didn't get, get a progress down the field. But um, to see that work and see it work in the game and the kids see that, I mean, it's, it's just going to build off that for the future because we got, we got a tough schedule coming up but with we start league play next Thursday. The MMK defense stepped up, which Kerr attributes to a new assistant coach. I brought back uh, Joel Thompson to help out with the defense. He's our defensive coordinator this year, uh, so we brought him back this week as a volunteer coach for us. And just you can see his influence right away uh, and what happened with our defense today and just the fundamentals. But it goes to them just playing hard and having those bodies to uh, refresh, refresh, refresh. I mean, you can see um, Evergreen there. They have 13, 12 guys. They're like us first game, just gassed, gas, gas. So to have that, that refreshing body just flowing through. And then just fundamentals tackling. I mean, eight man game, you gotta tackle. One broken tackle, it's gonna go. Also getting in on the scoring against the Eagles were Kyle Bundy, who ran for two touchdowns, one from 25 yards and the other from 70 yards and Thompson tossed a 12-yard TD pass to Trenton Harris. Two-point conversions were added by Thompson and Reese Toddy. The boys from Matlock improved to 1-2 and two on the season with the win over Evergreen Lutheran, but also picked up their second win this week by forfeit. Tohola had to forfeit against us for this upcoming game next Saturday, so that turned into a bye week for us. Then next Thursday we go to State Def. Reporting from Matlock, I'm Diedrich Allen.